Sunday morning, hello, welcome back. So I've got the uh, IBC tank now linked up to the cisterna. The tube, I didn't want to cut it down because I need it for the well. So it's going to have to go round and round and round before it goes down. And I'm really hoping that when this empties out into that cisterna that it doesn't fill up too much because obviously I want to get as much literage wise water in there as possible. But it'd be fun anyway, just to empty this out and move it. Three, two, one. Run. halfway and some excellent Twenty centimeters. I think I'm going to paint something on this lid. Get some color on there. Cool. One job done. It's so nice and peaceful up here. Monday lunchtime, the guys are dashed out to get some food and I thought I would dash up on the roof and have a little scramble around, give you an update. But I can't get past this point because they've just put down a very thin skim of cement on top of what they did last week. But never fear, we'll be coming backwards and forwards during the course of this week. And I'm hoping now that they can do a little bit more inside. I really want to see both up and down changes during the course of this week and the next coming weeks, obviously, because we're a few weeks away from the guys finishing. We have got some rain, unfortunately, on Thursday, possibly going through to next week. But at least I don't have to worry about rainwater going through from the roof. Well, the roof, anyway. Um, I need to carry on down by the well. There's a few things I want to sort out. I've got to take some stuff from up here, down there. Uh, maybe that rain will come in quite handy. Don't mind me, boys. Relax. Yeah, I really want to see that wall down. It's, uh, it's annoying me at the moment. I'm leaving the IBC tank there just for the minute because what I want to do, hopefully before Thursday, is connect a pipe running down to that so it can feed directly into the cisterna. That's what it's for after all. And with regard to the one around this side now, you can see the hole up there where the pipe is now that's gonna disappear but I want to make sure that rainwater comes well off of that down into this area here so it doesn't go down the walls and obviously I want to if it does get heavy I want to make sure that there is as little water going around the house itself I can push it all away I can tell you right now though I'm really looking forward to all this mess being cleaned up it's a bit of an eyesore
Now I've got this lot, minus that. There we go, little by little. It's nice to get that area cleared out. All those rocks are gone now. That's the last of the, so far, rocks down by the well. I'm kicking myself though at the moment because I really wanted to get out of the guy's way when they started this morning. So I want to get all of those down the other end and it was dark when I finished and I couldn't see where I was going. I was taking the last few bits off of here and I tripped over a rock and did my lower back in. Really uncomfortable sleep last night. I'm not feeling any better. In fact, it's getting really sore. So I need to rest. Yeah, I really am kicking myself. I don't like getting older. It's a shame because it just takes so much longer to heal, doesn't it? Anyway. Against every fibre in my body, I have asked for some help. The young lad who's doing all the skivvy stuff. As there are still a few more rocks that are being taken out of that wall there for the patio doors. He's going to put them in the back of the trailer. So there's probably another two or three loads. And at least that makes my life a lot easier unloading them. So it is a great help. Although oh, I do like doing things myself. Anywho, changing subject. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> From the side of the well, going down and curving round to there, but I've decided just to go a little bit bigger. So I might mark off this week at least somewhere there just to make it a little bit bigger and the idea is and this is what I was saying about the rain isn't a bad thing because all the way along here is rock hard and you can see it is a bank so the rain on there will soften it up so I can cut into there and then build a wall up to around about there just a little bit above the surface and then all the way around there it's only going to be you know, one and a half feet two feet tall but this one here is the bit that I want to make sure is a good height. And hopefully I'll have enough of these rocks. Though I'm pretty certain I'm going to have to get more. And with everything that I've got here left over from when I was building the well, these I'm hoping will help me with the floor area. Though I pretty am sure that I'm going to have to get a load more of those. So I want to make absolute sure that I'm uh, fighting fit when I do this. Like I said, that's for next week. back up on the roof. I can walk on here a little bit now, but Jean over there is rollering on, first of all, this Weber 824, and that just soaks into the cement work that they've done. And then, I don't know if they're gonna do this before or after the rain, they're gonna be using the meshing and then rendering it on to look something like that. That was pulled off of the old roof, something like that. So very quickly, while I can still walk on this bit of the roof, I wanna show you this, because there are various access points going through the roof. And this one here is gonna allow me to put pipes through from the solar water tank. And there's gonna be a seat, concrete seat coming up and that way just in this area here so that I have the pipe going that way. If it was going straight down, obviously there would be some risk of water getting down there. So that's pretty cool. Here now, we've got this hole, future-proofing it in case I do put a wood burner down there and that will have a chimney on there. Pretty much the same as the existing one that was already down there. And there are two holes. One is gonna to go to the extractor fan and the other one at this point in time, it's just going to be for whatever I want it to be for. I haven't made my mind up on that, but having the hole there is pretty good.
Now that going across there is temporary at the moment, but obviously the bit going through the wall is fixed. Yeah, that's enough.
So I'm having to rest my back here a little bit and I thought, yeah, I come to the top of the hill. It's something that I should do a lot more often. In the summer months I do, but in the winter months, not so much. Of course, I am walking the dogs twice a day, but oh, just taking it all in, going across the top here. I'm so lucky to have this at the end of the land and it's not something that's lost on me. I don't take anything for granted, but it really is good to just step back from time to time, step away from the bubble and just enjoy the ride. Speaking of which, I'm gonna take you on a little detour home, the scenic route. Yeah, so having the drone is really useful because I wanted the end here to be more rounded off. But um, <laughs> I think that could be a little bit of a mistake. Oh, Doctor, that could have been a right... Oh, Matron, please. Ah, can't be a good carry-on. Anyway, that was a little bit silly because I uh, didn't do my back any favours there. So I, I think I'm going to come to a grinding halt just for the minute, wait till the rain has stopped and carry on next week. 
Good job it's not spring hay fever season. I think if I sneeze right now, I'll slip a disc. There's quite a few rocks down there, but I doubt I'm going to have enough because that bank is going to absorb most of those, if not all of them. And the line that I've done down here is just a guide, really. I wanted to know how that was going to look from the drone. And definitely making it that much longer was worth it, I think. It feels more comfortable with the well. I worry about how I'm going to build that next week, the stone wall around there. I'll probably start on the bank and work my way in this direction. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, starting this and finishing it. Well, if you squint and use a bit of your imagination, you might just be able to picture a beautiful view through the patio doors, from the comfort of a sofa. Nature, looking at the trees, the hill, the blue skies, beautifully warm. Outside there, relaxing, taking it all in. We are seeing it at its absolute worst right now. The rain has been picking up and so's the wind. I think we've got 40 mile an hour gusts coming in a bit as we go through the night. And I'm gonna be stuck in that room there for uh, another few hours after I've walked the dogs, got my Portuguese lesson, and need to do a few things, and down to the bus, put the pellet burner on. But right now, what I would give to be in a finished house, sitting on a nice cozy sofa, flickering flame from a fire, watching a movie. Ah, uh, one day. I can't show you too much of what the guys have been doing today because the light is so poor. I'll see what I can do tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll be next week. Time to get wet. Tomorrow is another day, so I'll see you in the morning. put that pipe in there just for the second in case that overflowed because we had a lot of rain yesterday and I uh, I was convinced that it was possibly going to do that just measuring it now 90 centimeters obviously we had 20 in there before which is 1000 liters because we got it straight from the IBC tank and that leaves us with what three and a half thousand liters that went in there just from yesterday now I've been doing a bit of rough calculating my maths isn't brilliant but I reckon that on average I'm using 200 litres a day. Now that's a lot less than the average person. And that also includes the water for the plants 
and I monitor what I'm using, but I dare say the average person probably isn't aware of how much water they use. And when you look at it like this, oh, I think I've got this right. I think it works out at 365 days a year on 200 liters is about 73,000 liters, which is a hell of a lot of water. Now, if I average out this a little bit and say we get 30 days of rain in the winter time and just, just say, based on what we've seen there, there's no reason why that roof can't bring us 90,000 liters of water. Now only 80% of the water off that roof is going into there because the other section is going out another hole, but that can be redirected. So possibility of 90,000, I know that I would be using, if 200 uh, liters a day, 73,000 liters, that's 10, 10 and a half. So I would need another 60, 62 or something thousand liters, which is a massive tank there, I have to say, but I can uh, make it a slightly unusual shape. I wanna be careful going forward. I'm gonna have to plan this out because we've got the cork trees, the roots and so on, but there is land there, obviously. It's gonna be completely covered so you won't see it. Well, that's six times bigger than that. Only one more layer to go on this roof. And I'm really hoping the guys can do it next week. We've got some rain, it needs to dry out before they can do that. Once that's done though, it's over to me. I could put the tiles on here and it's gonna take on a whole new vibe. Last night I slept so well. I got a spring in my step today. I'm feeling very positive. Those of you that haven't been watching my videos from the past probably won't get it, but rain, roofs and me over the course of the last eight years has not been a good combination. I've had many sleepless nights. I've gone on about it quite a lot. But last night, no such fears. Inside as dry as it could possibly be given there's no doors and windows at the moment and I couldn't be happier feels really good. Next week, I'm gonna be tackling up by the well area. The guys will be up here and hopefully a bit more inside. I hope you can join me on that one. I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of jazz from last weekend. Nice. Hope you enjoy it. Till next week, look after yourself, stay happy, stay positive. Thanks for watching. really same is that